Hey, how you doing? Redneck Angler here. Just want to make a quick video, show you guys this uh, product I've got here to try out, Rock Treads. Um, yeah, I did a write-up not too long ago on the uh, Corkers Hex Soles, uh, which I've used a little bit, and I'm probably going to add a little bit more to that write-up. Uh, there's some things I liked about the Corkers, some things that I disliked about the Corkers, uh, particularly the fact that they wore really, really quickly. I'm, you know, at $30 a replacement set for treads, uh, I have a feeling I'd probably be going through those pretty quickly. So anyway, the guys at uh, Rock Tread sent me uh, a pack of these to try out. Um, you know, mount them up. I'm going to mount them on these uh, corkers, uh, just the regular um, rubber soles. Uh, it just kind of uh, makes it easy. This is a, uh, a kit for removable soles. They also do another kit. Uh, that's for like fixed soles, lug soles, you can put them through I think just about any type of boot. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and mount these things up, uh, let you take a look at them, uh, what they look like mounted. Hopefully uh, the next couple days get them out there in the salt water, uh, take a look back, see how some of the hardware uh, holds up and talking to the guys about that as well. Um, you know they're looking at doing you know some, some more salt water specific stuff also and uh, just give you some feedback. It's uh, they're, it's a company, uh, they make these things uh, right here in America, aircraft grade aluminum uh, discs. And you know, I'm not gonna go through and do the video of the whole installation process because you know, they've got a video online and why reinvent the wheel, but uh, you know, we'll take a look, some pictures through the process. I'm you know, definitely let you know if it's, it's as easy as it looks. Uh, the box comes with a number of discs, which I'll open up here in a second and take a little bit of video. Uh, a whole variety of discs. It comes with the hardware, actually comes with a drill bit to drill through this. Um, it's supposed to be a pretty quick process. Uh, so we'll check that out. All right, so taking a look inside what you get. Uh, you get a ton of discs, more than enough discs here for the uh, for the two soles. So you can, you can play around a lot of different patterns. Uh, and plenty of these uh, lockdown uh, setups as well. They give you a drill bit. Uh, so... You know, basically what you do is you you go on here and they you know there's a couple of suggested patterns. I'll put like one or two on here. We'll take a look at those. Uh, make sure you get your patterns all set where you want it, and then you go ahead and you you basically drill a couple holes, put the discs on there, lock them down, and you're good to go. Pretty simple. All right, so I laid out my pattern here, and uh, before I start drilling, borrowed a bottle of nail polish from my daughter. She says she doesn't like this color. So, anything like that will work. I'm just going to dab a few a little dot through each hole just to mark where I want to drill. Then I'll take my uh, discs off, go ahead, drill the holes, and then mount these things up. Should not take me that long. So we'll go ahead and get that done, and then uh, come back and take a look at look at what it looks like finished up. All right, you can see right there where I'm going to drill out the holes here in just a second. And it'd probably be a good idea to go grab a block of wood or something, do a little drilling, and then we'll secure these discs. All right, one concern I have here on the corkers is you know, you've got these grooves that align with the bottom of the corker sole and they kind of fit snugly up against there. And as I put these things in, I mean, I haven't tightened this one down yet, these couple down here yet, but, you know, if these if these keep these grooves from in the sole from going flush up against the bottom, you know, if they create a little gap, uh, if that's the case, you know, I might have to take a uh, box cutter or something and cut these grooves down just a little bit here and here um, and a little bit right in here so that I don't have a problem there. Um, we'll see. I mean, I'm just going to put them on like it is right now and then if, uh, you know, if I think that's going to be an issue then I might have to take them off or, or readjust them a little bit. I don't want to move the holes inside too far here because of where the placement's going to be on the other side. Uh, something like this isn't going to be an issue at all if you get the if you get the kit that goes through straight through like a uh, regular regular sole so we'll see how it goes I'll get these things attached tighten them down and see how they fit on the boot all right we got the uh, rock treads here installed finished up uh, right next to the uh, corkers hex treads that I just took off the boots you can see these hex treads I've worn maybe four times uh, once out on a jetty a couple times in the river you can see they're already they're wearing fast. I mean, that's like four days use, you know, solid all day long days use. But they're the aluminum on these things is wearing down pretty fast. And they're 30 bucks. 
30 bucks a replacement set for these corkers uh, hex treads uh, you can see you know just a lot beefier heck of a lot beefier discs here you know on these rock treads if these rocks tread mold uh, to the rocks grip the rocks the way the guys say they will um you know i can see these certainly wearing a lot longer than the corkers and uh you know like these things i mean if I, i'm having to replace these things every you know 10 uses a dozen uses or so and it's almost no point in wearing them because uh that's just too much money at 30 bucks a pop you know you go back to your old uh, corkers rock tracks you know strap on over the pair of boots uh, with the carbide spikes and you know you'll get a lot more wear than these things like i said in the initial my initial review of these things they're good for rivers um you know they, they provide great grip and stuff just uh wish they'd you know probably use a little bit more durable aluminum all right so you know i'm gonna like i said put these things on the boots uh get in the water getting some salt water see how they look after a couple of days in the salt and I uh, get back All right, to last you. thing here mounted them on my corkers fit on nicely and it's just a matter of getting out there seeing how these things do